So now that we know a little bit about the quadratic formula, I wanted to take it back to some things that we already know and think about the various ways that we can find zeros, including the quadratic formula. So I'm going to go back and take, I want to take this function, negative x squared minus 8x minus 9. I want to find the zeros. But first, I'm going to complete the square. That's good review. Remember, you can't complete the square unless it's a 1 in front of the x squared. That's a negative 1. So I'm going to factor out the negative symbol first. It becomes um, h of x will be a negative sign, and then we'll, inside parentheses we'll do x squared plus 8x plus 9. And now I need to, uh, put, to complete the square, which means, let's see here, x squared plus 8x, and then I leave it blank, and I put plus 9, and then I got to think a half of 8 is 4, and 4 times 4 is 16, so I'm going to add 16 here, but then I have to subtract it on the outside. Now I have a perfect square, so that means that it's um, x plus 4 squared, and then 9 minus 16 is negative 7, but that's, of course, not done. I have to redistribute that negative symbol into those two terms, and so that means that h of x is negative sign x plus 4 squared, but then it becomes plus 7. So it's, uh, the vertex is at negative 4, comma, 7. Let's see here, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then I'll make a parabola like so. You know how to do this by now. And so we can see that the zeros are not, they're not uh, rational. They're not right on a line. But let's go ahead and solve for those zeros now. And I'm actually going to, I'm just going to not even worry about the decimals uh, in this video. Instead, I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to set it equal to zero. So negative x plus 4 squared plus 7. Now what I'm going to do to get x by itself is I'll subtract 7 from each side. And I'll get negative 7 equals negative symbol x plus 4 squared. Now that negative symbol and the negative 7 i got to get rid of the negative symbol over here so I can square root this by dividing everything by negative 1. And then I end up getting positive 7 uh, equals x plus 4 squared. Okay. Now I'm going to square root both sides. And remember what the square root of 7 is? You probably don't. It's plus or minus the square root of 7. The square root of 7 is like 2 something, 2 point something. I don't know what it is. But I'm going to just leave it like this right now. And I'm, I'm just going to subtract 4 from each side. And I'm, I'm actually just going to say that the answer would be negative 4 plus the square root of 7. The other answer would be negative 4 minus the square root of 7. And I think that negative 4 plus the square root of 7 is here. That's negative 4 plus root 7. And this one is negative 4 minus root 7. So we have those two zeros. The last thing I wanted to look at then is let's now go back to the very first function that we started with, negative x squared minus 8x minus 9. And let's use the quadratic formula. So a is negative 1, b is negative 8, and c is negative 9. Let's start plugging things in. So I do negative b, so negative negative 8, plus or minus the square root of negative 8 squared minus 4 times negative 1 times negative 9. And I'm going to divide all of that by 2 times negative 1. Let's see what we get. Let's see here. Negative negative 8 is positive 8. And 8 squared is 64. Now this is a negative times a negative times a negative, which is negative. And 4 times 1 times 9 is 36. And then i got to divide that by 2 times negative 1. OK, 64 take away 36, 28. So I get 8 plus or minus the square root of 28 divided by negative 2. Um, okay, remember a while ago in Irrational Numbers, I taught you that you could separate that to be 4 times 7, and the square root of 4 is 2, and so it's really, the square root of 28 is the same as 2 times the square root of 7. So now, if I actually want to be slick, I can just say, that, well, this is like 8 plus or minus 2 root 7, and divide by negative 2. You know what 8 divided by negative 2 is? It's negative 4. And then 2 divided by 2 is 1, so 4 plus or minus the square root of 7. Oh my gosh, we got the same thing that we got otherwise. So it's up to you to be able to do it both ways, completing the square or using the quadratic formula, and then maybe decide which one you like better.